Hi everyone, this is Cindy and I just wanted to show you this fall themed journal I finished. It's made out of a Reader's Digest book and I didn't do much to the cover because I love that orange and green. I just added some of these leaves, they're burlap leaves and some silk leaves. And then this is a felt embellishment that has got stitching on it and I'm not sure where I got that at. It's either Hobby Lobby, uh, maybe at Goodwill in a package or Tuesday morning, but um, my really my thought is Dollar Tree, so I'm not sure. But anyway, um, this measures five and a quarter by seven and a half, and it's got three signatures, and I covered the spine with this perfect orange fabric, and that's, I took it from a blouse a long time ago, and I love it because it's got the scallops here, and it just finishes it off. And um, I was gonna say the spine is around two inches, just a smidgen over two inches. And I used the original spine in the book. I was able to keep it. And uh, you know, it's because, see this one I won't be able to, look how brittle that is. But see this little divot right here? Hope you can see that, I don't know. Um, when you take the pages out, that divot there doesn't have any chipboard, see? And you're able to then put some chipboard behind it and then fold it down and you fold the spine at this new crease instead of the original crease. So that gives you about a half inch extra space. So anyway, I've shown that before, so hopefully it's under you can understand. But anyway, it gives you a two inch spine, just a little over. So anyway, close it with the hair tie and post closure and um, let's go and look. It's got 144 pages. And I um, used a couple of these digitals. They are from Artzology from her fall ephemera kit. And if I hadn't had my stuff stashed everywhere, maybe, <laughs> here it is. Maybe I can tell you the number on it. I should have had that. Yeah, Fall of Vintage Printable Journal Cards, Ephemera. It's one number 145, Fall Vintage Printable Journal Cards. And it comes four on a sheet. And I'm not sure how many they were, but anyway, I printed them out for this. For my fall journals, I used a few in here. This is a... Um, tag, I guess you would say, that I made out of book page folded. Um, instead of folding it in half this way, I folded it long ways because uh, Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming was making some of these, so that I'll try that. It's got some fabric on it, some stickers, and then a silk leaf. And of course, I stitched around it. Three signatures. They all have scrub it paper to, for the beginning. And here's um, a leaf. Probably once again got it at Dollar Tree, maybe, or it could be Dollar General. I'm not sure. And uh, I just glued it on to be like a tuck, but it's actually a belly band because you can go all the way through. This was a printable I had in my stash. It was some freebie from somewhere. Uh, lined notebook paper, I put some ribbon on it. Here's some scrapbook paper I just made to a little flip up. You can uh, write there. It's a pocket. And this is a Tim Holtz stamp. There's four in a set. No, actually I think this was in the Halloween set. But then I have uh, a set that's got the acorn and the leaves in it so ribbon there scrapbook paper and on the white pages of the scrapbook paper i used um some alcohol inks i'd made uh right, oh, right when i started doing junk journals about a year and a half ago just make magic marker and alcohol and uh, so the yellow and the orange and then if there's any brown there it's just some brown paint mixed up with water and you can see it kind of bled through a little bit so i think it kind of adds to the effect so anyway just uh, didn't want it to be stark white, and it's just definitely some journaling spaces here. I try not to cover any of that up. This is some really thick scrapbook paper. Scrapbook paper, that's uh, like tablet paper, like kid's tablet. You know, they learn how to do their penmanship. Some double-sided scrapbook paper, and on this one, I put a pocket made out of a book page. This actual, well, I'm not sure it's the title page for this, but it is a title page for Reader's Digest, and just a little bit of collage work on it. Some inking and then I found this picture in the front of one of the Reader's Digest so I thought oh this is pretty fall cut it out put it on some uh, card stock and then scrapbook paper with just some little punch outs and some rick rack and some lace I made little tabs out of silk leaves so I just stapled them on and this is wall uh, wallpaper border center of the signature and then we got the back sides. This is a pocket made out of woven scrapbook paper and Reader's Digest page. Some ribbon on there. And then this is a little booklet made out of 
an image from a book stitched onto some copy dyed paper or some just some blank paper. And just the back sides of everything. Just a little um, pocket made out of book page, some bias tape, just some little things out of my desk. That's a sticker. And then inside it is this little note, kind of like a full envelope. Um, or I think those things got a name where you write on it and then fold it up, makes an envelope. And then of course I just closed it with this uh, seam binding. So. Scrapbook paper that I did edge punch, some uh, ribbon, and then I stamped that stamp is in the Halloween one too. He has a Halloween set that's got a crow and a pumpkin and a poison bottle, and I think that uh, wheat that I showed you uh, was in the Halloween collection of his stamps. Uh, another one of those tall skinny tags stitching around it, and I put scrapbook paper on it and just a silk leaf at the top. The notebook paper with some ribbon. Second signature. This is like um, tracing paper, typing paper. I'm not sure exactly, but it's something vintage. Scrapbook paper with just a, like a little cluster on there. With the corners punched. And then one of these, it's a coffee dye paper, just folded, made into like a little envelope. It's got a little bit of collage on there. This is just some scrapbook paper I had. I stitched around it and it's got a little collaging on it. And I put this scrapbook paper uh, that's got some lace on it as the journaling card. This page is from a um, shorthand book and I actually put it in upside down. So I could put another cluster to cover that up because I don't know that you would tell it's upside down by looking at the shorthand, but that type uh, stuff there you can tell it's like what was I thinking okay here's another pocket made out of book page but this time I covered up the parts with scrapbook paper so I just had scraps on my desk so I just used them journaling card with a ribbon stitched on there and this is just you know I showed you the one earlier I made a belly band out of it so that one just fits in there perfect as a journaling card Wallpaper again with a leaf uh, tab on it. Here's a belly band made out of scrapbook paper. And this paper here, some I got at Hobby Lobby and it's like four by five and it's adhesive. So I just punched those out and then glued it on, uh, stuck them on the scrapbook paper for a belly band. And here's another one of those um, Artsology fall uh, printable journaling cards, number 145. Just a little cluster there. Center of the signature. Wallpaper. This pocket, I just took some um, scrapbook paper that was on my desk and kind of glued it all together and added a sticker. Made a pocket out of it. This was just a scrap of that uh, lined scrapbook paper. Just put that in there. This is vintage uh, graph paper. And somebody scribbled on it on one side. So that well, you know, it just adds to its character. So it's in here like that. There's that. There's the other side of the upside down um, shorthand book. So you can't really tell on this side. <laughs> a pocket made out of scrapbook paper. And this is a square of embroidery, not embroidered, crochet. And I just added a silk leaf on top. So it makes a little tuck. A large tag, book page, blank paper on the back, ribbon on the top, and some stickers here. This is graph paper, I mean, a ledger paper that's been copy dyed. Here is, I told you there was one inside. Here's like a squash one, and I just made it into a tuck. And I made this round tag out of that scrapbook paper, used my punch, added another punch, it's a leaf, and then some lace, or some ribbons to lace. Third, fourth signature, nope, third, gosh, goodness. Can't count today. Um, this is sewing pattern instruction paper, and I just made this little tuck out of scrapbook paper, and I edge punched it, added a little cluster to it, and then I have one of these uh, leaves that makes a cute little tag in there. Here's another one of those pockets made out of the book page that I covered with the scrapbook paper. 
I found this scrapbook paper, I bought it years and years ago, and it came in different sizes, with different size squares and rectangles, and I had forgotten all about it. And so it worked out perfect for this, because they all the colors all coordinate. Stamped tag. Uh, just a journaling card with some blank paper on the back and just some collage work and a silk leaf on the front. Another uh, pocket I made, or tuck, I made out of scrapbook paper that was on my desk and some ribbon. Just kind of collaged it together. And this is an index card with a butterfly cut out and then just a circle of uh, colored paper behind it so it kind of shows it through. So This is a flip, read it only flip, I think it's called. Stickers on it and journaling card. Some more of that paper from Hobby Lobby that's adhesive. So I just cut it out and put it on that um, scrapbook paper that had been corner punched. Makes a cute little journaling card. This is newsprint, the wallpaper again with the silk leaf tab. Center the signature. We're on the back side now. Pocket made out of the woven um, Reader's Digest page and scrapbook paper with some. Um, ribbon on it and a cluster on it and then this tag <laughs> I found this blingy type uh, trim in my stash and just some silk flowers and leaves there okay now I don't know where I was at right here and I made this leaf into a pocket and it's just got a little piece of scrapbook paper left over I made it into a tag it's folded This is from a, writing, a typewriting course, this paper. Scrapbook paper, corner punched, some uh, paper flowers on there. Another one of these fold out copy dyed paper envelope journaling things with a little pumpkin on it and some stamping. And the last thing is this uh, pocket or sack or bag, or you're gonna call it. It's made out of book page and I just put this napkin on it. So I didn't, I glued the back of it to the book. I didn't make it a pocket behind it as well as in front of it because it kind of gets a little, you can get a little delicate. So the Mod Podge helps toughen it up. Oh, and this tag is just uh, some scrapbook paper with just different collage work on it. So anyway, this is this fall journal. I am going to put it for sale in my Etsy shop. Books by Bert. So if you're interested, you can go check it out. I'll have a link below. And I thank you very much for watching me. Bye.